Virgo, how you doing? So this is new. So look, Virgo. So I'm showing my face for a little bit, but look, we've got two different shots. Now we can go down and we can then go up. Hey, do Hello. <laughs> You're all right, Virgo. So uh, we are, it's testing. So there's a new microphone. There's also a new camera. Uh, and hopefully it'll help out. So there'll be different shots. One of me, camera one, camera two. So I'm hearing camera, 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 Mile, Mel, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. How you doing, Virgo? So we're going to have a look in your environment for the month of June and see if anything that you should be aware of that could be coming up for you. This will be more like your environment, but it can be your love life. And then we'll also look at your tarot then and see what you've actually got coming up for the month. How are you doing? Life Path 9 or Virgo? It's weird because I can't see myself, but I'm on a screen over here. And I don't want to keep like, are you all right, Dave? How are you getting on over? Look, look at Steve on the TV. <laughs> and if I go like this, Virgo, like you can see, like, whoa, you can see around. Like, how are you doing? Oi. Go on there, Nigel. <laughs> so there you go. Look, you can see me like, on screen. You're all right. So, Virgo, how you doing? What they got coming up that they should be aware of? So you've got uh, immune to attacks, can't affect you. You could be protected by a spirit. Now, there might be some sort of like blood-borne disease. It could also be anybody that also suffers through mental health, ADHD or um, bipolar or anything like that, because it would be um, anything that is like inherited by someone. So I'm also hearing like I, I'm looking for an inheritance as well. Some of you, this person may live with their parents, their mother or their father. Okay, you are the, the, the person. But I'm hearing I'm, I'm waiting for an inheritance. Okay, but also I inherited some sort of like biological gene or something like this. The name Gina, Gina, Gina G. Uh, Tina, also Tyler, Taro, Tanya, Great Britannia. But something that is infected. Okay, so I'm also hearing that someone might have something like with their feet or with their legs, or like they've got some sort of like cut on them, or something like that, that is kind of like, I don't know, could be spots, boils, I don't know, could be a witch, who knows, okay, let's go to scene two, so you don't have to keep looking at me, okay, but like, like immune to something that is there, that's in the blood, like it might be a cut, or something like that, that's bruised, okay, um, it's definitely one, I know it says can't affect you, it's not a big infection, but it can be some sort of like infected energy that is there, okay? So it can be a cut or a bruise or a boil or a spot or something like that is really what I'm picking up because I'm looking at these here, okay? So let's see. Um, so Virgo, anything that they should be aware of, please, in their environment. So you have got uh, had enough. You know what? I'm just pr pretty much had enough of being in pain all the time or Spain all the time or Majolta or Majolta or the <laughs> the water. I'm sick to death of drinking water in Majolta. Um, but anyway, had enough. Okay, I can't take any more of this pain that I'm going through. I really do pick up that someone here is in physical pain. Now, I do also channel, right? So I know these cards aren't saying that, but I channel messages, right? So there's an energy here of someone that might be in a certain amount of pain. It might be because of some sort of like operation or something that they've gone through or having to go through and they're in pain and they're pretty much getting sick of it. Okay. Now, if there's anything in one's environment of where you're working or where they're working, this is pretty much people, bruv. I've literally had enough of people right here. Now, if this is your relationship, Right, and you're like, I've just had enough of my relationship partner. They're doing my nutting, bro. Your mother or your father, okay? It doesn't matter who, but someone is obviously had enough. And that's the majority of people. So <laughs> let's see, Virgo, anything they should be aware of in their environment for June. So you've got, it's your power they want. Okay, so some of you are all into this. Like, you know, they're not taking my power. I'm an Archangel Michael type sort of person. What do you call it? And uh, they're not taking my power. I'm built by God. I am protected by spirit and blah, blah, blah. So on and so forth, right? That's if you believe in it, okay? Um, you know, I'm not going to fight against you if you do, uh, if you don't, okay? But, you know, protected by spirit, so on and so forth. They can't, you see, <laughs> it's not a person and their energy that affects you, it's you interacting with them, with your karma, okay, that's the way I see it, karma is something that you can't get rid of, right, you, you, you cannot get rid of karma, energy is energy, 
but majority of the time it's a planet that makes you go crazy right so it can also be mental health and things like this but majority of the time it's a planet retrograde and the full moon and the eclipse and a stubborn energy so like taurus maybe okay i think it's something coming up around taurus but like you know that's that's like a fixed sign okay that's when it's in astrology it's going to make everybody go oh god i feel so like oh <laughs> right here so that's going to be astrology that does that as a human you will pretty much just think i am protected by an archangel right but if you are protected by a spirit ask yourself this one question virgo if you are protected by a spirit why in the first place would they put you in harm's way of someone that's going to treat you that way and how would all, all that work why would they do all of that right spirit is a very controlling energy it puts you in harm's way it's called light working right so when we're light working we have to connect with dark energy in order to learn what it is so we can fight against it and get out and then go back in and then get out and go back in right so all of the time if you are a spiritual light working energy you're doing your work when you are contacted by energies of like immune to attack because if all of you're doing all the time is like no one's ever going to come near me i don't want anyone in my life i don't want blah 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 you're not really interacting with the energy to find out what the lesson is you see you have to interact with an energy to find out what that lesson spiritually is you cannot get better. If you look at Conor McGregor, right? Conor McGregor is one of the best UFC fighters that they're prob probably known to man, right? Um, I watched it on Netflix last night. But like, you know, he's one of the best known fighters. Why? Because he had such a strong mentality, right? Such a strong mentality. But he didn't give up and he would always go forward. And if he lost, he would get back up and he would go back in. If he lost, he would get back up. He would train, he would get better, he would go back in. If you look at things in spirituality or relationships or anything like that of light working, it's the same mentality. Okay. So let's see. Um, Virgo, what should they be aware of? So uh, predicted it. So I don't know, man. There seems to be this. Well, I predicted it. That's got to be someone. I don't know. Let's, let's come out the way of tarot readers. All right. Let's just say that your your intuition's kicking off and you're like, I knew it, I damn I knew it. But you see, the thing is why I always question this, being a Pisces, is the fact that when you're arguing and when you're trying to protect yourself from a person, your mother or your father or your love interest, they're trying to protect themselves from you also. Because that means like, how do they feel about me? Really fucking pissed off if you've just had an argument. <laughs> how do they see me? very fucking annoying if you've had an argument how do you see them very annoying if you've had an argument right it's obvious to everybody that when you are arguing with someone in your life be it whoever you will always see each other exactly the same because you're not giving in to one another it's ego the ego is what stops energy okay so it doesn't really matter, like, oh, I use my intuition and I stop this person. Great. Good. But, like, you know, here, there's, like, just had enough of having to keep fighting against you and so on and so forth. Right here. So one more card for Virgo, and then we'll see what your tarot says. Uh, hot drama. Uh, hold up. The shit is good. This shit is good. I need to watch it even longer. Okay. Here. So if you can't see these, right, you've got immune to attacks, had enough. It's uh, it's your power they want. Predicted it, hot drama, hold up. This shit is getting good and I need to continue on doing it because I'm fascinated by learning. So pretty much I don't want to give up. I'm fascinated by what's learning, okay? Now, before anybody jumps down my throat, I don't know your story as such, okay? So let's see Virgo. What has Virgo got coming up for the month of June? For the month of June for Virgo. Hopefully this audio isn't too bassy. Okay. It's also a boom mic there as well. Let's see. Boom mic. <laughs> Let's see. Michael, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. Uh, Virgo. What they got coming up for June. So you got the King of Wands. Normally a Leo for me, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarian. Okay, uh, can also be paradoxed if it's Leo, it's Aquarius, because I read in numerology. Eights, Leo, Aquarian, Leo, Aquarian, Aries, Scorpio, life path four, life path eight, right? 
Um, but yeah, working, this person could be a tarot card reader. You could be practicing tarot card readings and doing it yourself or you own a business or doing so. You could be working on the relationship itself, okay? So some of these may or may not actually make any sense at all, but we will find out later, okay? Hold on, alligator. Let me sort out the cards, okay? Um, because this is working on a relationship. This could be, like I said, this could be in your external environment, which it does say so, which can mean like your mum, their mum, father brother sister you know it doesn't matter people at work right and i've pretty much had enough and i'm sick to death of it and it's just draining my energy and draining my time keep wasting my time with people here okay but my relationship might be going well this is work here working if this is your external environment here virgo that's your external environment around work or their work okay so let's see um Virgo, what they got coming up for June. So you see, seven of wands. So now I'm putting up protection. Okay, I, I don't never believe spiritually I'm immune to attack. It, it, yeah, you know, it's just <laughs> sorry. I have a different belief system than a lot of people out there. But uh, anyway, um, hot drama. So that is more of like protecting myself from someone, which is probably not talking to them. Now this can be a parent. It can be your mother, their father, whichever way around it is, you or them. But again, not talking to this person here that could be a father or mother. And I'm very defensive against it. Now, this is also someone that is putting up, like I have, okay, I do have three placements of Virgo in my tarot card channel. Now blocked out the comments because I, I, I'm sick to death of it. I've had enough. It's, it relates to me also. But I'm just proving to you that this is pretty much, you know, what the reading is saying. I've had enough. I can't take this shit no more. I am protecting myself from all the haters and all of the people out there that have got something to say and blah, blah, blah. And whether it be good or bad, I know a lot of you are saying, but I want, you know, it's just, it's just too much shit for me to deal with. Okay. So I don't end up acting like a Scorpio and trying to get back at people. I would rather not have that in my head in the first place. So let's see. Um, Virgo. So it's like that. Okay. Trying to distance myself from people at work, okay? So Virgo, what's going on with Virgo? Through June. So there you go. These could be clients. I'm sorry if you're a client of mine. <laughs> you can always come on Discord if you like, but I've had it over on Discord also. Um, some people coming out, oh, you're blah, I'll just come down with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are clients, people, children maybe. Someone wanting to reconcile and say, look, can you stop being so defensive? Okay, if you want to work this out, then we can, but we need to talk about it, okay? But then it's kind of like that, but this is on my mind. And it's like, but do you want to talk about the relationship? And it's like, well, can't we just get on with the relationship instead of keep thinking about the relationship and actually just enjoy it instead of keep thinking about it? That's if you're in a relationship, okay, and you're kind of like in this backwards and forwards energy. <clears throat> now, this is also text messaging. So things don't get out of hand, try not to text message and to actually speak to the person verbally. Okay. Lee, Laura, Lucy, Lucifer, Capricorn or Gemini. Okay. But try to speak to them face to face or on the phone, not text messaging. Text messaging can get a little bit like, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? Okay. Now, if this is a father or a mother, you might have a lot of competition going on here around like, someone's belief and not like not give not forgiving them here not might be around a pisces uh let's see uh virgo what they got coming up for june so you got cancerian life path seven some of you are willing to try for this relationship if you're in one and that you just kind of like want to get going and this is normally the leading energy because it is the major arcana here but it's normally the leading energy. I'm the one that provides, takes you out, you know, treats you nice, take you out on a date. Okay, I'll drive, I'll pay, so on and so forth. Someone that's a very caring, loving partner. Don't want no hatred. <clears throat> very caring, loving partner. If you want to go out, I'll take you. If you need picking up, I'll take you. Do you want to go abroad? Do you want to go away? Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out on a date? Okay, all of these kind of things. They're all here. But there's like this general understanding where the people are just a little bit like, mm, let's back off just just a little bit, okay? Put the brakes on just just a little bit, 
okay? And let's just calm down, think about the relationship, and let's just enjoy it and go out and enjoy spending time with one another instead of just keep thinking about the relationship itself. Just get on with it, right? This is what happened during Scorpio <clears throat> when we had the, the, the eclipse and everything else that came up around Scorpio, okay? What should have been eclipsed out is what I was talking about in some of the readings, which was about let's not keep talking about the relationship. People don't change. They are who they are. The feminine and the masculine have to realize I'm not going to change and you're not going to change. We are who we are. Do we love each other? Well, there is definitely compromise to work on it. So do we love each other enough to work on this? But we need to calm down with the energy of like, well, I need to come to the realization that you ain't going to change and I'm not either. So instead of trying to change each other, let's just enjoy each other the way we are. Okay. That should have all of what you should have learned through the Scorpio parts and the moon and the and everything that we went through. Retrograde and then the moon. Okay. So Virgo. I was coming up for Virgo for June. So the star. Aquarius and also Leo. Okay. So you've got potential of going out in the future to what like this is all just basic stuff here. Traveling, going out, enjoying the time of one another, relaxing, going on a holiday, just going to fuck, I don't know, Peterborough, Cambridge. <laughs> I can only say that because that's where I'm kind of like living and where I go. But like Ely, Cambridge, Peterborough, go out shopping, you know, do all of the do's, do all of the bits, right? The general life stuff here. If you've been going through this for a while and you're not actually broke up or split up and you're just in a relationship, these are just environmental things that are kind of going on at the top here, okay? Getting involved in gossip and drama, maybe. So it's kind of like, hold up a minute. I don't want to leave. I don't want to go. I don't want to split up. This is getting good. I want to continue on. Like, I'm enjoying learning what I'm learning because I feel better, right? Feel better when I'm with you. So what's going on with Virgo for June, please? Virgo for June. So a two now starts to come up. Now, a lot of the readings, I will tell you if you're not coming over to Patreon, the first lot of cards have been good. The middle section has been problems. Some of them, it ended up sorting itself out towards the end of June, and some of them, they got worse. Okay. So just keep that in mind, right? Um... Let's see, for the rest of June, 2023, Virgo. So you got Ten of Pentacles. Did that just move? <laughs> uh, so you got a Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, there is. There's, like I said, there is this um, money here, earning money, being able to go out, being afford to travel. Like, you know, can we go somewhere? Yeah, I can afford to do that if someone's got a good job. Can you come and pick me up? Yeah, I'll do that. Do you want to go out tonight? Yeah, we can do that if you want. Do you want to go out for a pizza? Whichever way around it is, yeah. Unless you're on a diet like Steve and you can't eat pizza. Well, you might be able to have one slice. <laughs> but like, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just generalized, Virgo. Probably very boring. But it's there, Virgo, for the rest of June. So Seven of Cups in reverse. Ooh. Now, there is this energy of these sevens here, which can mean, um, well, it, people could say multiple personality disorder, but it's also my ADHD card because it's I can't seem to focus. Like I can only focus on one thing at a time. OK, if I'm distracted by multiple different things, I can start to lose my mind a little bit. OK, so if you or your partner do not know of whether someone has ADHD or bipolar, but more ADHD, okay, please get checked up. If you have, or both of you have, or one of you have at least, then this is the energy of like, you know, I find it very difficult to focus on you all of the time, so I'm not going to be able to do that all of the time, right? So when it comes to attention and love, if you can't give me the attention 24-7 and you've got an attention-seeking energy, you'll come up against conflict. If you can resolve this of kind of like, well, 
they have mental illness, they have ADHD, okay, so I have to kind of compromise and realise, okay, it's not always about me all the time, okay, and it's not always, a, like the other person saying, it, you know, it's not always about me all the time, I have to let them basically just be who they are, and then when they come back around and focus on me, I'd rather enjoy the time when they're feeling good about spending time with me than what I am thinking about them when we're not together, okay, because that will create more of a mirror. If one of the person has ADHD and attention deficit disorder, if the other one starts concentrating on the person that has it a lot and then they start freaking out thinking, hold on a minute, man, what's going on, <laughs> right? I, I can't seem to concentrate on everything all at once. I can only seem to just do one thing at a time, okay? If the other person that doesn't have it thinks, right, okay, I'm going to have to let them just slowly come around, okay, to giving me some attention and some time, and then when they do, let's just enjoy that instead of questioning them, okay? Because this is like, I'm going to question you over the Spanish Inquisition. What are you doing? Where are you doing? Where are you going? What you? Why did you not do this? Why did you not do that? Why did you not remember? Why are you so busy? Why are you at work? Why are you not at work? Why are you doing this? Why are you not doing that? Instead of concentrating on the why are you not doing it, let this person just kind of like slowly come around to themselves and then they'll naturally come. Or Natalie, okay. So I don't know if Natalie has this. I don't know, but uh, cheers. I love this flavour. You can have that on the um, diet that I'm taking, uh, which is the Slimming World. We've gone back to Slimming World diet. Anyway, so that is your uh, reading for the start. If you want to go over to Patreon, this is where all three tiers are now open. So the cheapest tier is open, which is the monthlies only. But that is only two or three dollars, uh, two or three or four dollars, something like that. I'm not sure. But you get all 12 star signs, uh, yours and your partner's. And then if you follow me in numerology, you get to watch those also and put the pieces together. And there you go. There's your monthly readings. So it'll be a full table spread, all clarified pretty much. And then I'll tell you the outcome. OK, um, if you want the silver tier, that's where the monthlies and weeklies are. So all the weeklies that start to come out after the monthlies, you'll need the silver tier. And if you want the gold tier, that's all of the readings, but you get 75 teaching videos. Okay, that are all on there that are like hours long, that have got loads of information that you can kind of look at. And then there's the join button that is also provided below where I channel deceased loved ones. And um, I also do free tarot card readings for the people that have joined. I go live every other night. Now I've got my camera and my mic set up and my audio equipment and everything. And then when I go live, I can then do your readings. Hello, my name is blah, blah, blah. My question is, bam, there you go. Done. Next. Okay. So thanks very much, Pudgy. <laughs> but thanks very much, guys. Really do appreciate it. And I'll hopefully see you on one of the links provided below.